In the year 2036, once the singularity had passed, and the manipulation of matter allowed everyone access to unique bodies and architecture, generic housing developments are left abandoned as sandcastles ready to be rebuilt. post-human fun palace. It amalgamates your human shell and cognition into a post-human form, allowing you to splash around in the fun house of forms. As the technological singularity is passed, generic housing developments are abandoned. A post-scarcity world beckons for a new architecture. A post-human testbed is created to shatter the limits between mind, body and nature. Bored of the mundane, you are about to experience a full mind and body revitalization through the transfigurative journey of a lifetime. There are many ways to enter the Fun Palace, and you can be at any point of your transformation. If you are entering from the base human form, you should be aware that you are entering into a paradise of metamorphosis and evolution, where you become unified with the environment and those around you. Simply choose the place you wish to start your transfigurative campaign through the Fun Palace. The Forge is the central nervous system to the Fun Palace. It recycles objects from the mechanical sea and breaks down the atomic structure into the fundamental building blocks of nature. It forges the base elements into microscopic building blocks to be distributed across the palace by nanobots as commanded by our guests. Every level of the forge is broken down into stages. The fully automated shell is continually reconfiguring itself to control the weather and temperature during the atomic reconfiguration process. The lower levels break down old building components and objects into separate base elements before progressing into the heart of the forge the reactor, which separates all elements into chunks whilst providing power to the Fun Palace. As you then design entities throughout the Fun Palace, chunks enter the fusion core to reconstitute matter into the required elements before being sent through the atomizer for nanobots to distribute to your creation. The fabricator becomes the central nervous system of the Fun Palace. Continually exploding and reassembling, it becomes the collaborative studio for all visitors to work together on new post-human designs. With every cycle, the space becomes reconfigured in an iterative step towards new age design. The goal of the fabricator is to blur the boundaries between mind, body and nature, merging the neural connection between body and architecture. In this cycle, objects from the peninsula are being collected and reconfigured to create a post-human form developed from local aesthetics to in turn create a body with greater dimensional connection to the Fun Palace, providing the user with full integration to the spatial sensorium of the area. The post-human Fun Palace allows users to develop their minds bodies, spaces, environments and communities. As you enter the Fun Palace, you begin to be augmented and fractured. Moving through the landscape, you can improve your cognitive attachment to the environment as it nurtures you into the visual sensorium of your paradise of fun. <laughs> 